Hey yo together and very welcome to Let's Play XCOM Enemy Unknown! Hello there! Okay... I don't really remember what we did last time... But I assume... We did awesome! So, 8 days until council report. UFO crash site, that's looking good. So it was a U UFO crash. So alien grenade art thrower, that's important. Uh, me, Connor, I think that's a dream team. Wait a second. Do we need two heavies? I think yes. Abilities. Ah, uh, you're almost Colonel. You're Colonel already. Crash side. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I think I go. Oh, wait a second. Oh, I got the lightning. For scouting purpose. I, I think that's good. And then, let's see. Bruce and Connor both. Yeah, but we need one heavy at least. And I don't wanna miss my flush ability because this one is so good. Don't I have the heavy already? No active research. Okay, I can do those after. I will do that, those after the UFO crash site, but for now let me see, where is the heavy plasma? Heavy plasma! Oh come no! Ah, I need the alloys, okay so... The alloy... Yeah, okay, then I can't do anything about that. With the money I could have helped, maybe... But no... Small scout, Egypt, UFO 8... So let's start the mission then and see what we can do here. Ooh, for crash side. Dropship has arrived. Dropship has arrived. We're dropping you just inside the Egyptian border. Okay. It looks like the aliens went down in a sparsely populated area. Mm. If there are civilians in the area, I hope they stay clear. Yeah, me too. Okay, now let's see, 3, 2, 1, dropship has arrived. Oh yeah, looking good. Come in HQ, Big Sky has reached the outer marker. Approaching the crash site now. Strike team is awaiting your orders. Affirmative, Big Sky. Strike 1 is free to engage hostile targets at the crash site. Okay, so for, oh, uh, misclick already. Well. In the, in the, ah, the sniper will stay there. I will move with the sniper at least. I think. So Captain Caps goes there. The good thing is look at the lightning. It can move so astonishing far. And it's quite tanky as well. So, yeah, let's have a look right here. I think that's good. And as you can see, there is nothing. Nothing. Okay, um... I guess Aatrox goes here. Cube Crasher goes... Oh, wait a second, that... I could go here, but I don't know what's on the right side, so I think I dash towards that location. And that's it. Coop Crasher goes there. So much health, look at that. And Connor has not the best armor. Only 12 health. Even I do have more health. I think I fucked up with the armor, Connor, in this mission, which is really bad. Okay, so you will stay de as defensive as possible, I think. And Caps goes there. 
So let's see where the aliens are and what they are doing and what they got new toys for me. Nothing so far. So let's have a look here. Come on, Aatrox. Nothing. Lightning. Let's have a look. Okay. Oh, you know what? Oh, it costs a second turn. Okay. Okay, no problem. That's that's not good, but it's fine, I would say. So, cube crasher can go there. Uh, Overwatch, sure, why not? So we have Connor. I think on Overwatch. Caps goes... Uh, I'm not quite sure. Okay. And I stay on Overwatch as well. Oh, this time! Police with the blue light! Alright. And the noises, so... Lightning, come on, where are my opponents? Is this dashing? I don't know. Come on, fly over there. Overwatch. I really don't know where my opponents are, but if it's safe for now... I mean, I don't see anything, right? It's clear, completely clear. There is nothing, nowhere near. Um, I think that is a good spot for you. So, Connor, you can dash towards that location because you're safe with cabs as well here. Yeah, cabs and cube crusher. And I'm gonna dash towards that location as well. Okay. So I hope no one goes there and throws a grenade. That location. You hear that? Okay. Lightning shift. You can go there, for example. Overwatch. Aatrox. Alright, let's see. That's a good spot for you, I would say. Cube Crasher. You go there. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. Okay, now I will stay definitely here because that's a sweet spot in my opinion okay you wait caps can't dash here in that turn so goes next to cube crusher overwatch i think i go overwatch with you as well and connor full cover please overwatch so let's see where are my enemies Okay, Newton and Berserker. No problem. I can I can work with that. Hello dear. Oh, look at you, stupid face. Come on. Oh no. He's raging hard. Why? That's good damage. Nice! Oh, wait a second. Because... I got... I got an idea. Now wait. Because... Ah, no, 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 no. Aatrox is the one with the... Grenade. This alien. More info. Hard and elevated ground. Weapon. Chance to... Cre the, the problem is I... I would love to try to catch it, but it's super risky. Going in for the kill. Nah, I don't know what to do. 
Uh, because Cube Crasher can move up here. Wait a second, can he jump? It, I would say it's unlikely that he jumps up there, but I don't know if they can do this. Mm, that, that's the problem. Should I risk it? I mean, I got 16 health. I do think I will risk it. Screw it. I wanna catch it. Alive. So... I can't move anymore. So Aatrox goes... Ah, uh, he got the double tap. It's very risky to put him somewhere. Th th that was wasted. I think I go there. If I put him on overwatch and he kills it, this guy, then that's bad. So, with the pistol, he would deal up to 3 damage and crit if it moves. But I think I just don't do anything. Now let's see, look at, oh yeah, the ramp, the ramp, okay. Move, number one. No! Please don't kill it, please don't kill it! The one time I don't want it. <laughs> okay, better safe than sorry. The one time I don't want it to, to hit, but whatever, man, whatever. So I can do the flight. Don't need the flight mode anymore for now. You can. Oh wait a second. You could move right there as a mega scout. Mutant tags, reaction shot. Doesn't hit anything. Oh, I need to catch that one. That is the one I really do need to catch. So, if I kill it, Dr. Val will again be. So that's not an option here. Um, it stays, it stands right there. So I do need to get closer to it like here and cube crasher must follow as well very important because cube crasher is the one with this done so connor goes okay i go up there overwatch connor you dash up to that tree thing uh, and you can dash there. Okay. Looking fine so far. I should not... We don't have time to spare, Commander. We need to capture one of these strange aliens. We already know that killing them won't provide anything of use to us. Yeah, but if I got the best weapons and such, then what should I do? I can't help it. I'm sorry. I really are. Oh, look at that! Mutant again! On the high ground! Not hitting again! Stupid Mutant. So bad. This guy is so bad at aiming. Oh wow, dead. Okay. You hear that? So... As long as I don't know where the hell my opponents are I think I'll just stay defensively and that's it should be fine I mean I really wanna catch those but somehow oh they are coming from the back okay so if that's the case yeah yeah to the flight so let's see Come on, you fly, over there. Okay, that was number one. That was number two. 
So if they wanna flank me from behind, then it would be a smart choice. First of all, uh, rotate the camera and then throw a battle scanner to see them. There they are! Oh, I got another chance to, to catch a berserker. Okay, perfect. I need to ca uh, catch one of those alive, so let's try this again. Okay. That's fine. That's good looking. And Caps, you can come back right there. And that's it. So come on, move, you fat asses. Okay, they didn't move by quite a lot, but I do see one of them. Bye bye. So that was easy. Oh yeah, get a bit closer. Just a little bit. Uh, up to 20 damage. With the critical hit, that's quite a bit to be honest. So let's just soften it a little bit. No hit I'll there. But I can try it again. Come on, Connor. Nice, 6 damage intimidate. Good, good, good. I know what I can, could try. Um, no, not not you. I mean me. I could use the pistol there. Or maybe not. Okay. So that's good. I think I just wait for it to get closer to me. To be honest, I mean, should be good. Yeah, that's fine. And reloading the weapon system. So, so it needs to get closer, right? Come on, move! <laughs> Both missed. Oh wow! That damage. That damage. But it's okay. You get close to it. 4% hit chance. That's quite a bit. Up to 9 damage. The problem is, I already fucked up heavily, because if I attack it, it moves towards my units and away from cube crashes, so I need to hit it with as much damage as possible. Perfect! Oh yeah! So now we can try to stun it. Nice! One down. Good, 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 good. Only five enemies. Well, that was a small UFO, so I guess that's fine. Three, two, one. Dropship has arrived. And we are back home. Damage five Your days. Your men certainly seem to have a knack for capturing alien subjects alive. Yeah. I only hope they realize how important their work is in relation to ours. Mm. Please pass on my gratitude to our forces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So first of all, I totally fucked up with the computer. So let's do the research stuff first. Drone autopsy. Let's go. This unit appears to be a drone, which is similar to the military drones we are familiar with. This particular example seems to have the ability to repair damaged equipment. Dr. Shen and I believe it should be possible to capture and repurpose these for our own use in the field. Okay. 
So we got drone capture project available in the foundry. The drones with this ambit seem to have a singular purpose to repair the enemy technology, including its robotic counterpart. Although they act as robotic medics and lack any kind of offensive weaponry, we did discover large explosive charges located deep within the substructure it draws on as a power source. With this and several of the alien devices, I continue to be amazed by what their creators have been able to accomplish. Dr. Shen believes it may be possible to hack these drones, allowing us to utilize them for our own purposes. Further details as to the specimen's complete combat capabilities may be available in the field if targeted in the unit analysis field. Alright. Heavy floater! Another variation on a previously identified specimen, this is the heavy floater. As you can see, the aliens have made substantial improvements to the armor and weapon systems available, while removing some of its exposed vulnerabilities. An extremely dangerous combatant. Yep. True. Advanced Repair Project. Okay. Another variation on a previously de-identified specimen. This is the Heavy Floater. A cursory examination reveals substantial improvements to the armor and weapon systems available to the creature. Much of the exposed tissue, the floater's most obvious vulnerability, has either been shielded or removed entirely. With these modifications in mind, it would appear the aliens choose to move towards a greater reliance on mechanical and cybernetic upgrades rather than continue developing the specimen's organic form. Uh, organic form. We may be able to gain further insight into this creature's unique abilities in combat if another specimen is targeted in the field in the unit analysis. Oh, that's good. That's not bad. Okay. Uh oh. Aliens vs. Nightmare. Dr. Valen. <laughs> no chance. Flight research credit earned. Similar in overall appearance to the float specimen we've previously encountered, this captive has been enhanced further with an even more complex network of cybernetic implants. He has also a significant reduction in exposed living tissue, including the cranial region, which slowed the progression of our interrogation process. Despite these initial setbacks, we were able to guard the captive's response to various stimuli, while also conducting a battery of on tests, the off tests on the propulsion and power systems integrated into its body. Having observed a number of subtle improvements in this specimen's augmented frame, you should be able to enhance the flight characteristics and propulsion systems of our aircraft. Okay, and the berserker for the last one. Okay. No chance for you as well. Armor Technology Research Credit. Credit. Now, this captive was even more violent and aggressive than we expected, exceeding the previous limits established by the Flotter Mutant species. Despite heavy sedation, it was virtually impossible to control the subject, leaving us with little recourse other than to increase the viator of our tactics. After probing several regions, of the captured spray, we managed to find the appropriate stimulus, stimulus to calm the beast, after which we put the captive through a number of controlled physical tests. By observing the subject's movements while burdened by the massive suit of armor it is outfitted with, we've gained enormous insight into how the invaders approach the difficult design questions associated with creating a heavy armor suit. Striking a balance between effective armor coverage and maneuverability in the field is no easy task, but this data should prove invaluable to our own efforts. Okay. So I got credits, but no credits here. Well, I don't know. Heavy plasma, chef fusion lines in pecan laser cannon. 
Um, the foundry. Shift repair. Okay. Ammo conservation, that's important. Advanced flight, maybe. Improved pistol, definitely. Advanced repair. Maybe and improved medkit, of course. But I would say, now let's see, let's scan a little bit. <laughs> I would love to do that, but I can't. 20 days, maybe I got luck, but mm, I don't know. I think that's part for the next uh, part. Yeah, that's time for the next part then. Maybe this one is a bit short, but hey, whatever. So, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and next time hopefully with a bit more interesting mission, we will see. So, stay tuned, as always, I wish you a very nice day, and...